Uh, good morning and uh, welcome. So this video, we're going to be looking at a selling opportunity in AUD NZD. And uh, I'm just going to show you, I'm just close the window quickly. I'm just going to go over what, what it is I'm looking for and why, what I can see. Um, so what I've spotted is a harmonic butterfly pattern. Really nice. You know, I'm trading what I'm seeing here. I'm not inventing things. Um, so firstly, perspective where we sit in this big super cycle almost so i identify us as bit that in, you've got a staircase pattern on the way up and on the way down you could say this is a staircase pattern but it's just lower lows and lower highs this is sideways movement sideways movement and this is sideways sideways movement so we're actually at the top of this consolidation zone and we've just wicked quite heavily um this is all good because it makes sense we've got a harmonic a B, C, D up here nearly complete. I've got another big one here, A, B, C, D, that's complete as well. So that's two reasons. Now, if we go down to the time frame of the pattern, uh, where can I see what I need to see? Yes, so the butterfly pattern becomes part of the actual picture. So I draw it out again, what I'm seeing. So we're seeing a, a double bottom, we're seeing push one, we're seeing push two, we're seeing push three. But this push two, is a harmonic sorry this push two to three has effectively completed the harmonic um a d n z d sorry the harmonic butterfly pattern if i can just copy this leg and draw what i can see so a b c d a b i'll label it so you can see a b equals c d you know that's just me copying the lengths out and dragging them across but you can see price has gone past that so there is a variation to that the variation is that the c d leg is a Fibonacci extension of the AB leg. So in this particular example, let's just measure it. Let's see where price comes to. So price has come to the 127 extension. Um, if it was a bit big, you'd be able to see it. Yeah, between the 127 and the 161.8, that's quite significant. But, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so that ABCD has extended, so it's valid. The next thing is to look at this anchor point, which is X. Now, the thing about these patterns is they are contextually you should look for them in certain areas of the market. You shouldn't look for a butterfly at the bottom of a trend, for example. It's called a butterfly top for a reason. I believe we're in some form of a top here. Now, we get the the retracement tool here, and we see where that's extended to. So that is exhausted. That's at the 161.8D point is up here. Um, so what we do have, we have push one, push two, and push three, which has been disguised as a, it's been disguised as a Gartley pattern. Now I'm just gonna label this up a little bit better and zoom in a bit more so you can see it. Uh, let's get rid of this now. We know what the ratios are. Let me just get my colors right. So it's better on the eye for me. So we've got our framework slash skeleton together now to know what we're working with. It's gonna make it a bit more neat. Down here. So that actually looks like a channel as well, you may say. Well, that's what you want. You want ideally harmonic patterns within channels. It's all about the symmetry. Um, why isn't I okay, that one there and then this one here? Without looking at the bottom one, I can already see it's a 61.8%. No, sorry, that's a 786 retracement. This is a 127 extension. This is a 786. This is a 100. B hasn't broken, otherwise it would be a three drives pattern. Um, and that's it, folks. Now, the next thing to look at, that's the basic harmonic. Let me save that. So we're expecting cells here. We've looked at the daily. That's showing us we're at the top of cycle one. And if we look closely at this area here, we have now completed one, two, three days of rise. And it's a Friday and the market's come back to the top of the ABCD. So you can see the ABCD drawn here. Price is using that as support at the moment. But how many pushes can you see? You can see one, you can see two, and it is going to give a third. So there we are. All right. Well, listen, I hope you find this video useful um, when it comes to drawing harmonics. Please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.